Hello everyone. So today I wanted to start off with a story. And this story is about how amazing of a friend I have, right? And she gave me this experience, right? I've never been at sea. And I've always been scared of large water bodies. Because I always have a fear of, you know, after watching the Titanic, I feel like <laughs> you imagine a lot of things. And I've watched a lot of movies with the sharks and docu is it documentaries like life stories of people who have actually like real events of people who have fought of sharks and i've always had a fear of large water bodies at least in my mind that's how i felt and this experience let me tell you the crazy thing is that when i got out to sea people were shocked that it was my first time being at sea because you know, when you've never been at sea, people always expect that because you have this fear, that's how you're going to react. And going out to sea was like filming. I was um, enjoying my time. My hand was in the water and people are looking at me like, really, you've never been at sea because you're acting like you spend your time in water. And don't get me wrong. I love water. Like I enjoy water. But it's just the thought of large water bodies that used to scare me in mentally. And being at sea taught me a lot of things. It made me feel small, but it also made me feel like nothing can limit me. God has chosen me. I'm unstoppable. I don't know. There's just like being at sea, being in the middle of that water body and feeling like anything could happen at any time it made me realize a lot of things and that's what i want to talk to you about the first one it made me feel like i was you know the first thing i learned is that i'm so tiny in this world like this world is vast but as tiny as i am in this large world god has chosen me and that makes me great that makes me big that makes me unstoppable that makes me an explosion of stars you know like i don't know you know how they say that before a star for a star to shine there's a particular star before it shines it has to die and its way of dying is when it dies it explodes that's how it felt to me like I'm an explosion and I always go back to that feeling anytime I feel like I can't deal with the world sometimes I, I I go back to that thought I remember myself in the middle of that sea with this scary little creatures that look like they are a lizard or a snake and half I don't know what they are but it was scary but being there just made me realize you can be the tiniest thing but if god has chosen you you are unstoppable like no one can stop you nothing can stop you the next one i've learned is that our dreams our visions are so small still whatever highest form of vision or dream you have that's so tiny and i always felt like uh, am i let's say like to date, sometimes I still feel like I have dreams or visions that are too big. And sometimes when I go to God with my dreams or my visions or my plans, I always ask God, am I dreaming too much? Is this too big? I know it's not too big for God, but is it too big for me? Is it something that's unachievable for me? And, you know, the funny thing about going to God is that you realize that even the thing that you think is so great is not so great. Like God is beyond, you know that scripture that says your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Like whatever highest thought you have, God is beyond that. You can't surpass what God thinks of you. So sometimes you can think the way the, way the world tells you like you have unachievable or unrealistic standards. With God there is nothing like that. If you believe it, it happens. To focus on that word that says that with man it may be impossible but with god it is possible so it might be impossible with you whatever you want to happen in your life it's definitely maybe impossible with you because you're a human being but if you put god in it if you start your formula with god the possibilities are vast you could be here today and you could be to a, in another place the next day as a completely different person completely different personality and character right 
The next one, God is so tangible. This is something I learned at sea. God is so tangible. Like, there is something in life that you can look at. It's like an experience of when people are ill. They have this experience about life. You can be like, let's say you're struggling in poverty. You are wealthy but you feel like nothing is enough. And you get to a place where you're sick. You have a life-threatening disease. And for some reason that disease it makes you see life differently and it's so sad that most of us experience that wake-up call when we go through things that are that life-threatening but I think maybe most of us need to do things that scare us like for me the sea was that thing for me it made me realize that god is tangible he's so tangible like god can flip the world and god can make it in a second and that makes you realize that whatever you need in life god has your back nothing is limitless like the sky isn't even the limit. You can do so much. Wherever you are, you can do. Like, I don't know how I'm trying to express this. And I'm trying to, like, relieve those moments. And I'm like, you don't even understand. Like, being there, most of us, all of us, I recommend that we go and do something that scares us. On my bucket list, I want to do skydiving. Because, I don't know, I don't feel like it's the same fear with how I had the water, large water body fear but i feel like it has that same experience knowing that everything could end in a second and everything you could like that rush you know people say i'm an adrenaline junkie but i genuinely feel like it's not my junkiness is not about the adrenaline my junkiness is about the experience the things it wakes up in you it's like it's like your body finally gets what your spirit is trying to say. That's what I'm trying to explain. So if I'm short of words or I'm short of expressing, please understand. Do something that scares the shit of you and you'll understand what I'm saying. The next one is there is courage to be pursued in every fear. You will never know what you're capable of until you're in that situation. There are a lot of situations where I used to empathize with where people used to go through certain things. And I used to say, who well, if i was in the same position i don't think i would survive it and if anything especially 2022 it has taught me that there is nothing i cannot survive like whoa, 2022 has been deep for me i don't know i feel like all my years have been deep but i feel like 2022 has been like a cell of deepness it has been challenging it has been beautiful it has been surprising it's just been God speaking and God speaking in different ways, right? So um, it has taught me that sometimes you think you're not as strong as you think you are or sometimes you think that something will destroy you until it happens and you realize, wow, I'm stronger than I ever thought I could be. Like nothing can break me. And the good thing about going through um, tough times is that it's like falling in a pit. If you fall in a pit, you will never fall in that same pit again. The next one is, um, we are vast. I feel like I've already spoken about this, that we are vast. Really look at yourself through this self-God. Always learn to look at yourself the way you feel or you think God will look at you. Because I don't know if we can really know how God looks at us unless we read the word or unless we have a relationship with God. In every situation, like a lot of people in life go throughout life regretting things, feeling guilty about things they should never feel guilty about, having this in feelings of inadequacy that we all sometimes experience and it's because you don't take time to look at yourself the way God looks at you. God doesn't look at you and say, I wasted something on you. He looks at you and says, you deserve it. Even when you yourself, you know you can never deserve of any good thing God gives to you. God gives it to you because he believes in you, because he loves you unconditionally. And I feel like if we look at ourselves the way God looks at us, there are choices we will make in life that are different. There are people we will cut off from life and there are people we will hold on to because we believe we deserve good things. And this, 
you know this sounds like a simple thing but to me i've come to realize that it has changed my life so much because right now i have so many good people so many good things going on for me and i feel it's because i finally get the concept that god sees me different like i don't need to fit into a box to be accepted because god has accepted me and god loves me unconditionally if i want something god will not hold it back from me unless it brings harm to me or it brings harm to the people around me you see so that has really helped me even in the things that i choose for myself in how i accept and i'm not saying that i do not sometimes struggle with you know looking at something that is going on that is so good and feel like oh, oh do i really deserve this is this something that i'm supposed to accept because i feel inadequate about accepting it always go back to that place with god god do i deserve this is this right for me you know god will always tell you deserve it even if you think you don't next one is get out of the mental funk by challenging your comfort zone Comfort zones are great. You know, it's like cozy, it's warm, it's cuddly, it's like chilling. It's like, you know that feeling you have when everything is right, you've done everything you're supposed to do and you're just at home chilling, watching a movie, you have no responsibilities, no obligations, you're just there. You know, that's the feeling a comfort zone is. And comfort zones are good. They are good when you're chilling, when that's all you want for your life. But comfort zones are dangerous when it's about your vision, pursuing greater vision. You need to like push yourself. Push yourself to start a business. Push yourself to connect with people. Push yourself to forgive quickly. Push yourself to stand up for things you have, you know, held yourself back from standing up for. You know, push yourself to read. It changes you, you know, it opens you to a different world. You know, push yourself to travel. If you have the resources to travel, try and travel by yourself. Stuff like that. Don't settle in comfort zones. You will never learn, you will never grow. Um, the next one is you really can be who and what and where you want to be if you dare to believe and put work into that belief. This one goes hand in hand in what God has for you. Whatever purpose you believe or you feel God has for you, pursue it. Have, you know, make the sacrifices necessary to meet those obligations, those, you know, requirements that you feel your purpose will need. And don't compromise because you feel like, what if I fail? You know? Like, share, subscribe.